What's going on everyone? This is Jacob, man, and I told you I was coming with a tool video. It's not going to be long. It's not going to be anything special, so bear with me, but uh, let's jump in, man. I want to show you guys my pride and joy, my go-to clipper, Oster Fast Feeds. I will tell you why. It's light, it's powerful, and it cuts like no other clipper, man. I threw on uh, the ceramic and a ceramic blade, which is that small cutting blade there. If you guys get the fast feeds and you didn't know, order this. It's like $14, man. It is awesome. I'm telling you, I saw the biggest difference. But uh, this clipper is great. Another big reason why I like this clipper are these guards. And we'll jump into this in, in a second. But uh, I want to do a sound check. They're quiet, man. can't beat it you know they they just sound great man and you know if you're cutting all day they're not too heavy but they're still powerful the next clipper that I love are the magic clips we all know that these things are awesome um, a lot of complaints about how cheap they feel they do kind of feel cheap but they're still powerful man and you can't beat the cordless um, you know they work great they have the stagger tooth blade which a lot of people complain again about that that it it pulls the hair and I experienced that too I actually changed the blade to the taper blade um, and all that it just has a curve on it here um, I prefer this blade but these are a lot louder than the fast feeds and they also take different guards and we're gonna jump into the guards here in a minute the seniors, man, these things are awesome. They are not the cordless, so don't get excited. I'm not gonna spend $200 on a pair of clippers that will be 150 when they come in America. Um, but these things, man, are awesome. And I heard a lot of good things about the cordless, but the one thing that I know for sure is they can't be as powerful. I hear barbers saying they're just as powerful, and maybe they are, I don't know. I haven't used them yet. But I know one thing. These things have a constant energy source with the cord. It is hard to get something just as powerful cordless as they are when they have a cord. Um, these things are awesome though. They have an aluminum body. Uh, this little piece is plastic, and they come with the fade blade, the flat blade. Um, they're awesome man and they sound great got a nice hum heavy heavy clipper um, you definitely have to get used to it these clippers got a nice little finger put your finger there which is great but uh to be honest with you I don't ever really use that anyways I like to kind of cut like that anyways this clipper here one of the least talked about clippers, um, a lot of barbers don't have them. One of the cheapest clippers, but uh, they work, man. They work for what they're made for. The wall balding clipper. I see a lot of barbers bald out with their trimmers, and all that does is dull your trimmer blade faster. These are made to do that for you. Bigger blade, less time to bald out, and they work, man powerful clipper um, as you can see no lever and uh, the teeth on it are real real small um, I'm not sure if you can see that far but uh, they're only like 45 bucks man so if you're doing ball fades go get a pair I'm telling you save you time and what is time money all right let's jump to the trimmer guy or actually actually hold up got the big boys here now these right here are my babies. This is the Andis Supra ZRs. These are called detachable clipper. Um, and I'll tell you what that means. They don't have guards, guys. You buy the blade. Um, now each one of these blades vary from like 20 to 30 bucks, sometimes 35, 40. But like this is equivalent to a two guard right here. And you can see it's a pretty thick blade. But when you do it, when you put the blades on, you just don't snap them on. You gotta turn on the clipper first. 
and snap. And this thing right here, I'll tell you why I got these. These clippers right here, I got for two reasons. Take away bulk, and also you get a lot of clients that just want an all even, whether that is a one all the way around. And I'm talking about straight hair. Kinky curly hair, I wouldn't recommend using these on. I'm sure they work, I just don't use them. But on straight hair, if you have a guy that wants a one all the way around or two all the way around, um, and you take your clipper, your fast feeds, we'll say, powerful clipper, put a guard on it, you're gonna have to run up and down that head four or five times to get all those little stray hairs hanging out. But this right here, once or twice, and it's smooth. No little strays, nothing like that. I mean, works awesome. So that's my baby there. These are a little expensive, but they're well worth the money. You know, and as barbers, we need to invest in ourselves. We need to make sure we are, you know, having the right tools for the right client. Um, and when clients see that, they're going to love that you for that. Um, all right, let's jump into the trimmers. First one's first is my Andis Blackouts. These are awesome, man. Powerful, great for edges. Um, and you can see I modified it. I cut it off. Um, two reasons why I did that. One is to get around the ears. The other is they get so darn hot, man. These things, they melt your hand off if you use them for a while. So uh, it helps kind of cool it down. It doesn't do the job all the way. They still get warm, but not as bad. And that's something, and this, so, and is, if you ever watch this video, man, pay attention. People are doing something here. They're cutting your clippers down. Why? For ventilation. So, do something. I don't know, man. Cut little slits in it. Put some screen or do something, guys. You guys are slacking. Anyways, the uh, Andis Slimline Pro LIs, man, these are great for kids. Um... And they, they cut just as good as the T-Outliners, but for a kid and the small blade, awesome. Um, they're powerful. And, uh, you know, you have the kid with the little itty-bitty seat cup and a little line here, you know, and he wants to look all fresh and mama's talking him up. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to take this big old blade and you're going to be digging into his eyebrow just pull these out perfect man and and then uh, if you have a smaller kid that's running around he won't stop moving they're cordless man easy to just yeah all right so that's basically the clippers i use i do have some wall detailer trimmers and other things like that but those are just backups man um you don't have to have this extensive clipper game. You know what I'm saying? My clipper game is decent. It's not horrible. I got decent clippers. And you know what? I cut people's hair. They love it. So I got enough to do the job. Um, so let's talk about the guards now, guys. Um, we have two different guards. We have the Andis Purple Magnetic Guard. There's actually two versions of this. One, if you look close, there's two magnets, and the other one has a single one. I prefer the two magnets. Um, and if you're going to buy some, I would tell you to get the two magnets. You're dumb if you're not, and I'll tell you why. The other one feels cheap. Plastic is real cheap. This one, plastic's stiff, hard. And also, man, them things stab clients, dude. I had people complaining about it, and these are good and soft, man. So get these. Think about your clients, man. You don't want no one stabbing your head. But also, two is always better than one, right? And when you stick it on your clipper, they don't move. These aren't falling off. You don't have to worry about that at all. The other side are wall guards, and most of the time wall has the color coordinate guards, and those are decent you know they're not the the best but they get the job done um these here though these are the wall premium guards um they have a metal clip here the plastic's a lot better a lot thicker and uh 
they're just really good clippers the only downside is I wish wall this is for you wall if you ever watch this video make these color coordinated do the same style with the metal clip but just color coordinate them like your other ones and I'm telling you barbers would eat it up um, I'm gonna show you the difference between the guards um, and there's two differences this is one of them this here is an Andis zero this is a wall hat they're both 1.5 millimeter guards um, but they do the same thing they're meant for the same thing just Andis calls theirs a zero and wall calls theirs a half not very big difference but just so you guys know the next difference and walls kinda got Andis beat on this one and that is this guard here it's a one and a half um, it's an awesome guard you can really detail it with it and to be honest with you I use my fast feeds a lot with these purple guards but I always every haircut will pick up my wall magic clips and throw this guard on in between my one and two and detail my cut so wall props to you love this a lot of people will disagree but that's fine we can have our opinions so that's the guard systems man that's the difference between them and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, the razor I use and I'm going to tell you why I chose this one. This is, shout out to Toon45, Chris Basio. Um, this is his razor. And uh, this man is a genius when he dropped this razor. You see this little cartridge right here. I just pulled it out. This razor comes with three of these. Um, not one, not two, but three. And for preference, the first one is a low exposed razor so meaning the razor is only exposed a little bit the second one's a medium so it's exposed a little more and the third one's a really exposed um, cartridge so you can really see the razor I prefer the medium but why not have all of them for the same razor you use it's genius instead of having three different razors this razor comes with three different cartridges um, it's metal it's made great man I'm telling you I've had this for since it came out I pre-ordered this thing um, and you can't beat it I'll put a link in my description so you guys can check it out then you can buy this razor um, this gel right here um, two of these for like 35 bucks and this is their gel too man this stuff is awesome clear it's thin you can see what you're doing the razor glides on it so go check them out man I'm telling you they don't even know I'm talking about this because I believe in their product it's awesome so um, alright last thing but this thing is awesome Andis shaver um, I prefer this one over the wall and this shaver it's great um, it's like 40 50 bucks but I prefer it over the wall because these foils bend the wall doesn't so you get a lot of problems with that on it breaking and whatnot so these things are awesome they're powerful um, and they do the job so great for skin fades all that man if you just want to clean someone's neck up hit it right there don't really irritate a lot of people I would just be careful on um, kinky curl curly hair with these because uh, a lot of times they'll bump up so make sure you talk to your client and know and ask them if they've ever had it done and ask them if they bump up a lot but guys that's basically it man you don't need a whole arsenal of tools you don't need anything crazy just be a barber love what you do man and uh, I hope I helped you guys at all I know I didn't go into detail a whole lot I just wanted to show the tools and why I use them if you have any questions man go ahead and leave some comments let me know and I will get back to you guys um, next video I'm doing I want to do uh, I might drop a haircut video in between but I want to do a finance video and I'll get into a lot more detail with that guys um, you know and I want you guys to understand something and don't get offended man I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do with your money all I want to do is give you guys some good practical ways that I've learned how to save money because I know how it is when you have cash in your pockets you know you made 200 bucks that day you go buy the girl something nice and now your cell phone bills due, but you're dependent on the next day to make another 200 
you know, you're basically living day by day, man. And uh, it's a good feeling when you don't have to think that way, when you know you have some money saved up. And if you already know how to do it, man, that's awesome, bro. Straight up. Um, that is great, man. And uh, keep doing what you guys are doing. But if you might need some help, man, stay tuned. And uh, I'll try to do my best to help you guys. But again, I really appreciate what you guys uh, watching and viewing and all the support I get, man. So stay tuned, guys. Like, subscribe. Love you guys.